Praise the Lord. Welcome to my prayer closet. On my channel, we pray, we study God's word, and we provide tips to help you live your life victoriously. If you stumbled upon this video and you need daily prayer or you need a Bible study in your life or perhaps you just need tips periodically to help you, hit the subscribe button and become a part of our faith family. God is doing something so great on my new channel and I sense such a holy momentum. Thank you for joining me. Um, to all my subscribers who are with me, all 665 of y'all, God bless you and I'm really, really grateful for you. So um, as you can tell, for those who are rocking with me every day, I am a bit low key today because I had planned to pray about um, something in particular, um, but I, I just sense a real shift um, because as believers, um, God does not want us to be saturated with news or media or current events. However, um, as believers, we are called to be aware, uh, to know what's happening in the marketplace so we can pray, so we can be vigilant. Um, and so it's no secret. There are two pretty major news stories right now, and I don't really know what direction God is about to take me in. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Um, the two things that I'd like to pray about or share about are um, a young lady, and I'm going to do this without crying, y'all. I know I can, who has gone missing. Uh, her name is Corey Gaucher, and forgive me if I'm not saying her name right, who is a beautiful young girl, age 18, a student at LSU, who's been missing, who's gone missing for more than a week. Um, and um, the... Recent uh, shooting of Dante, I think his last name is Wright, in Minnesota. This happened in the last couple of days. And so those are two things that are pretty hot in the news now. And um, this channel, I really just follow the flow and the leading of the Holy Spirit. And although I was going to be praying about something else, I just I just felt a burden today, y'all, to to just pray about this. And and um you know, there are times when you really don't know what to pray. Um, and the Bible says, you know, when you don't know what to pray, the spirit intercedes. And and and, and, and the Holy Spirit, um, I have been praying in the spirit, which I don't really, really do on camera um, or on audio, only because of the scripture, you know, that says I really would need to have someone to really interpret it so it can edify you. So I am going to pray, I believe, and uh, I printed some scriptures, y'all, and I'm going to provide a link. If I don't, if you don't see the link in the description, just say, Kimyata, put the link here. Uh, it's to about 10 pages of <laughs> scriptures uh, for protection from evil. Y'all, um, if I am the mother and either one of those young people could have been my kid, um, based on me being in my mid forties, y'all, I can't even imagine what, um, the parents of Corey Gaucher, what in the world they must be going through. I watched the interview with the dad and he couldn't even talk y'all. He, he could barely get words out. He, he, he was in such disbelief and I, I did everything not to cry. Like how, how, how does your child go away to college or freshman and, and then they're missing. It's literally a parent's worst nightmare. Um, I went missing um, as a little girl during the Atlanta child murders. And um, I actually was in a friend's house who I didn't tell my mom for hours. And my mother said during those hours when no one could find me. She says she felt like death had overcome her. Just 
for hours and hours and hours, the whole neighborhood and the housing projects where I grew up, McCannisville, were looking for me. And this was during the Atlanta child murders. So, yo, I all I can do is just pray for this girl and her parents and for a miracle. And then um, for those who have um, African-American, Hispanic sons or grandsons or great-grandsons or nephews... You know the real um, dangers that exist. I'm so sorry to talk so long, y'all. I just, I um, I just, um, I just wanted to be real. You know, that's what this channel is. I didn't want to just get up here and just start praying. I just needed to get that out. Just, you know, having. Um, a 16 year old and a 13 year old son, we got to have another conversation. And now I, we got to talk about this one. I saw uh, my good friend and our sister here, um, um, Letitia posted on Instagram, you know, how, you know, we shouldn't have to have certain conversations with our sons, but you know, that's the time we live in. And Y'all, I don't have answers to these things. If you're a mama like me or you're a grandmama like my mother or you're a great grandma like my Auntie Nina. Um, my God. I um I, all I can do, y'all, is say pray and pray for protection from evil. You know, um, it's evil. Evil exists in this world. Evil has that little girl not home with her family or in her dorm room. Evil. Evil. That spirit. Evil. Of a young man getting pulled over because of air fresheners hanging in his car. And then he's dead a few minutes later. I know the police said they think it was an accident. But y'all. So I have these scriptures. And um, I'm going to. Uh, I don't want to be much longer. I just. I just needed you to know here uh, in, in our prayer closet, we're authentic. Amen. And I'm going to attach these scriptures. If you want to print them, put them on your phone. And what I am going to do, um, I already have confessions. I pray over my children every day. But let me just speak the word over my kids and you speak over your kids. And maybe if enough of us are praying, um, all of our kids are covered. Amen. Whether it's from abduction or evil or accidents or freak accidents or um, uh, brutality, um, you know, community crime, um, just um, police abuse. So y'all just, um, I just want to go with the flow of the Holy Spirit. So listen, I'm going to share these scriptures and pray. Heavenly Father, I don't even really have the words. And I, I, I apologize, Lord, um, for even rambling on this long. Um, Lord, I don't have answers. And I'm glad I don't have to have answers. I'm glad I don't have to know everything. But I know you. And these women, I pray they know you, Lord. And so, Father, since I really don't have the words to, to say in English uh, to these ladies as I pray to you, Lord, um, I want to speak your word. Because the Bible says um, that as your word is spoken, it won't return void and it'll come out and accomplish everything it was said. And so, Father, we just we want to pray supernatural protection from evil for our children. Isaiah 41 10 says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And so father, we just pray that you will uphold our children and our grandchildren and great grandchildren with your righteous right hand. Psalm 91 he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver our children from the snare of the fowler 
and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover our children. He will cover our, our sons and our daughters. He will cover them and hide them under the shadow of his wing. Second Timothy 4 and 18. The Lord will rescue our children from every evil deed and bring our children safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Second Thessalonians 3 and 3. But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you. And he will guard all of our children. Hallelujah. Against the evil one. Proverbs 19 and 23. The fear of the Lord leads to life. And whoever has it rests satisfied. He will not be visited by harm. Father God, we just pray right now quickly that our children and grandchildren and great grandchildren and nieces and nephews will not be visited by harm. Romans 12, 19. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. And Father God, we thank you right now that we know that our children are protected and we never have to retaliate against anyone because vengeance is yours. Hallelujah. Second Samuel 22, three and four. My God, my rock, in whom we all take refuge. You are our shield and the horn of our salvation. You are our stronghold uh, and our refuge. You are savior. Father, you save us and you save our children from violence. We call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. And Father, we pray that our black sons, our black daughters are saved from enemies. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Our children are saved. Psalm 138 verse 7. Though we might walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve the life of our children. You stretch out your hand against enemies and your right hand will always deliver our babies. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and are safe. Father, we thank you that since your name is a strong tower, Lord, our children will run to you and they are safe. They're safe. Psalms 32 and 7. Father, you are a hiding place for my children and my grandchildren and great grandchildren. You preserve these kids from trouble and you surround them with shouts of deliverance. Hallelujah. So father, we, um, we end this brief time together. We're calling on you, dad. We're calling on you, dad. The violence, it has to end. The police brutality has to end. The police mistakes and misconduct, Lord, it has to end. We pray for heart changes, Lord. Father, we even pray that black on black crime, it has to end. We're not going to put everything on the police, Lord. We're hurting ourselves as a community. Father, we just pray for your help. Lord, I pray specifically that none of these ladies will ever experience um, what the parents of Dante and uh, Corey are experiencing. I pray for peace for those families, Lord. Lord, surround them with peace. Comfort them. Comfort them, Lord. And Father, even even though it looks really bleak in the natural for Corey, Lord, um, I just want to pray. I just want to pray for a miracle that she be found alive and well, Lord. My heart aches for her mom and dad right now. And all I can do is call on you, dad. You know all things. 
And we're just going to trust you no matter what. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Ladies, thank you so much. If you have hung on this long, I'm 15 minutes in. I'm, I do apologize for being this long. Um, um, sometimes it's just things you just got to get on out and go with the flow of the Holy Spirit. I am so grateful um, that y'all are here with me in my prayer closet praying every day and praying today. Um, don't get down and sucked into media and social media and let that drain your spirit. Because to be honest with you, it can be easy to let this drain you and drain your spirit and have you frustrated and overwhelmed. And that's not what you want because um, the enemy will trample on you if you are in a, a certain state spiritually and mentally because of this. I want you to be the light, be the light on your job, even in the midst of this, um, be the light in your family, be the light. When I talk to my boys about the stuff that's going on, I'm going to do so from a position of hope. And we all know our hope is in Christ. Okay. I love you all very much. And I am so, so grateful that y'all are my sisters. In the Lord, again, I'm going to provide a link to these scriptures that I was period reading a few of them. I normally uh, just kind of pray scriptures that come up out of me um, with my eyes closed. But this time around, I just didn't know how it would flow. So I, I just printed some scriptures and, and read them to you. Be blessed. Be the light. Uh, and let's just keep praying for these families, y'all. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye bye.